This is your host, Sapna Bhartia, and welcome to our special series of interviews for Prestacon Days. And today we have with us Deepthi Borker, co-founder and chief product officer at Ahana. Deepthi, first of all, welcome to the show once again. Very nice to be here again, Swap. Thanks for having me. I recall talking to you and Steve uh, when Ahana was founded, you know, and I have been following the company, your story, your journey for... Uh, for a very long time, though it's not that long actually. Uh, so uh, my our audience also know, but I want you to just give a quick recap what Ahana is all about. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Ahana is um, a managed service for Presto on AWS. Um, we essentially make Presto very, very easy to use uh, in the cloud. Uh, as uh, you know, Presto comes out of the Hadoop ecosystem and can be pretty complex. Uh, and there's uh, pl platform teams of all sizes. Um, and we want to bring the value and the power of Presto to everyone. Um, data platform teams that are small, medium, big, uh, and, uh, and, and get that out there. So that's, that's, that's Ahana. What role is Presto DB playing in today's cloud-centric IT and you know cloud-centric world? Let me tell you a little bit more about Presto and Presto DB. So Presto DB is um, it, it's turning out to be the one of the de facto query engines for querying on data lakes, right? And uh, Presto is essentially a distributed uh, SQL query engine that also enables federation. And um, it allows uh, users to essentially query their data lakes, their databases, and join across them. Uh, so ph phenomenal technology that came out of Facebook, um, and that's a part of the Presto Foundation. It's hosted under the Presto Foundation. And um, um, Presto Foundation itself is an industry consortium uh, which has grown over time, uh, created by Facebook, Uber, Twitter, and um, uh, and uh, and and so that's that's where you know Presto, what Presto is, Presto DB is the repo, uh, and that fits into the Presto Foundation. So hopefully that answers the question. It does. Uh, you mentioned some of the founders and where the project originated. If you look at today, what kind of community is there around Presto and Presto DB? We believe in a community-driven open source, right? And uh, you work very closely with Linux and Linux Foundation uh, Swap, so you know, you know this really well. Uh, there are a few different approaches to community and to open source, right? Um, you can have a, a kind of a, a vendor-driven open source project. Uh, you can have a, com uh, a community-driven open source project. Now, the best example of that is CNCF, right? Which is a extremely vibrant project under the Linux Foundation um, uh, and hosts Kubernetes, right? And uh, similar to that, uh, Presto DB and, and the Presto Foundation, um, which which started a couple of years ago, is growing. Where we have many new members to the foundation. Uh, of course, Ahana is a, a, a member of the foundation. Intel recently started. Uh, joined as well, Upsolver recently joined as well. And so that is uh, growing into a big industry consortium. We're very excited about it. And on the community side, there's uh, a, a lot of uh, a lot of great work as well. Um, phenomenal innovation that's coming into PrestoDB. Uh, and that's uh, what PrestoCon Day is going to uh, be about. A uh, lot of the a uh, lot of information about um, uh, the core innovation, uh, use cases of, of PrestoDB, uh, as well as uh, best practices practices and learnings. Right. And you mentioned foundation, and just a few hours ago, I, I do a show with Dirk Honda, VP and, and Chief Open Source Officer at VM, where we run a whole series on open source. And we are talking about the importance of foundations, how they further the whole mission of open source by creating uh, a neutral platform where, where even competitors, you know, because when you look at Presto and soon we'll be at PrestoCon, you'll see a lot of your, co your, your competitors will be sitting on the same table discussing uh, the, the future of the project. Uh, so, so that's uh, kind of that's the beauty of open source. Now, I want to change gear and talk a bit about PrestoCon Day. Uh, talk a bit about this event. Uh, this is not a typical PrestoCon, which will happen, I think, later this year. But this is PrestoCon Day. So talk about the focus and the scope of this event. So, PrestoCon Day is uh, March twenty fourth. Uh, we're very excited about the event as a, a, a program chair. I'm uh, excited about all the all uh, all the the sessions and the panels that that are uh, set up. Um, the event is 
is really for the Presto community uh, to hear the latest and greatest uh, on the roadmap, right? Uh, a, a Presto has a phenomenal roadmap. There's a lot of contributions that uh, uh, Facebook is making, Uber is making, Twitter is making, Ahana is making. And, uh, and so a lot of it is about that. There's also um, user talks where you get to see how it's actually used in action, right? How is, uh, uh, what kind of problems are being solved? What are the use cases? And the use cases for, for Presto uh, are expanding as well. Uh, it started off with interactive ad hoc querying, and it's getting into uh, data discovery, uh, increasingly uh, transformation. And so all of these are e exciting uh, kind of areas um, uh, that we'll, we'll be talking about at PrestaCon. The, the two sessions that I'm really looking forward to um, are um, one is the um, the ecosystem uh, panel, and you know Presto is a is a federated engine, right? And so the ecosystem around Presto is really important to us. Uh, there's a, a lot of connectors that it it it, it is uh, it works with a lot of data sources, databases that it can connect to, uh, and bring insights out of. Um, the panel is uh, where we have um, um, uh, Vinod, who's the creator of uh, uh, Hoodie Apache Hoodie. We have uh, Kishore, who's uh, creator of uh, Apache Pino. We have uh, Matt. Uh, who's creator of uh, Superset, all of these kind of uh, integrating into Presto. Uh, um, and, uh, uh, and so that's something that I'm really excited about, looking forward to moderating the panel. And then the second talk uh, that I'm looking forward to is uh, one from uh, Facebook, um, from uh, Bishwa Pesh, who is, who will share about Facebook's vision of Presto, which is, uh, um, you know, which is incredibly strong. So those are the two, two of my favorite sessions that, uh, that I want to point out. Of course, I, I will be speaking as well, and there's others, um, but uh, uh, teaser on those two, hopefully you can join in. You gave a very good overview of what to expect. What would be the key takeaway for anybody who is attending it? And if I want to flip that question, why should any somebody uh, attend it? Great question, right? Um, and it kind of is, you know, why PrestoCon? Why do you want to attend PrestoCon? And why Presto, right? Um, Presto is essentially becoming, as I said, the de facto query engine for uh, for analytics. And so as a individual data engineer, as an individual data platform engineer, you want to be up to speed on the latest and greatest in open source uh, and uh, in, uh, in, in data analytics, right? And so you're going to get a chance to hear about uh, some of the phenomenal work that's going on, um, including um, Presto integrations with Iceberg, for example. Example. Uh, Presto integrations with uh, a lot of the other, some of the other projects that I mentioned, uh, running Presto in the cloud. All of these uh, will help uh, individual data platform engineers uh, really pick up skills, learn more about uh, the latest and greatest. Um, and, and Presto is running at, at massive scale at these large internet companies. And so if they want to adopt it in their own environment, it gives them a view of how they can get there, right? How they can get there, why it matters. Um, and um, uh, and and really uh, give uh, get closer to the community, get involved with the community, so that uh, they can then participate in it, contribute in it. Uh, it's an open community, as you said. It's it's neutral, um, the, and that's that's really what we love about it. Uh, I'm passionate about open source because it's it's neutral, and we believe in community open source because it makes it bigger uh, and better for everyone, and not just one vendor, but really for all the organizations, the the vendors as well as the individual contributors. The traditional events, in-person event, you have to physically be there. And there are so many reasons, financial uh, visa, that you cannot be there. Uh, with virtual or online, anybody can attend it. The, the flip side is that there is no hallway track. There is no, you, you will not bump into somebody who you don't know. You will always join somebody in the Zoom that you do know. So what kind of uh, uh, opportunity do you see there will still be there for people to network and interact with each other? There's Zoom fatigue <laughs> that everybody is going through. Uh, we're just on Zoom back to back. Well, guess what? PrestoCon is not going to be on Zoom. <laughs> it is going to be on a, a platform called Hopin. It's uh, it's kind of a very very fun platform. They they actually have a virtual stage. They have virtual booths. They have virtual virtual networking where we can you know you can do speed speed networking and talk and meet different people. Uh, and we're gonna have uh, you know some fun along the way. We're we'll hopefully have a DJ or some 
music and make it a lot more fun and entertaining. Um, uh, you know, it's it's hard in this environment to keep that enthusiasm and energy going. Uh, but uh, we like to have these as as live. Uh, there's a lot of live action going on as opposed to you know recorded sessions, which in itself makes it a lot more lively. The panels are live. Uh, the uh, the interactions between um, uh, uh, between sessions is live, and so hopefully it'll be you know it's a little bit easier to consume, easier, uh, a little bit more fun uh, to participate in. And um, yeah, uh, looking forward to it. Deepti, thank you so much for joining us today for this special series. And I look forward to talk to not only uh, a lot of members uh, of the foundation and a lot of participants uh, of the event. So thank you for your time today. Absolutely. Always a pleasure, Swap. Uh, looking forward to chatting again soon. Take care.